Hi, my name is Phil Hack. I'm a senior program manager with the Web Platform and Tools team at Microsoft, and I'm here to introduce you to NewPack, a free open source package management solution for .NET developers. I am going to, by random, choose to build an ASP.NET MVC2 web application. So I'll click No here. The goal of NewPack is to make it easy to discover and incorporate third party open source libraries into your project. We have two different clients to the NewPack system. Uh, there's a PowerShell based console that I'll show you first. So we have commands such as list package, which go against an atom feed to discover which packages are available for installing. So you can see here we have this list, and I'm going to pick one of these called Elma and go ahead and install it. Now, if you've ever installed Elma before, you'll know that uh, there's several steps that have to take place. We need to add an assembly reference and we need to modify the web.config. So the nice thing is that we get IntelliSense here on the package ID as well. And when I run this command, we automate all the steps that you would have had to take to incorporate Elma into your project. NewPack copied an, the Elma assembly into a directory that's within your solution folder and added an assembly reference to it. it. We didn't copy it into your bin directory, so you can add that folder to source control. Not only that, but we wanted to make sure that you could try out Elma right away after installation, so we made a change to your web.config adding the minimal settings necessary to get Elma working, as you can see here. So if we switch to a browser and make a bad request here, and then go to elma.xd, you can see that we have some entries there. So that's one way of interacting with NewPack, but I'm going to show you another way using our add package reference dialog that I think will be one of the more common ways of interacting with NewPack. Here you can see we have a list of packages and you can do things like search and filter on them. So here I typed in nhybe and I got the two different nhibernate libraries. So I'm going to install one of them and this will take a, a few seconds because what we're doing here is we're not only in installing nhibernate.link into your project, but we're also looking at all its dependencies and adding them. So now when I go in here I can see that we've installed antler, IEC collections log for net and hibernate and hibernate and hibernate.link. And now I'm ready to go and start writing code against that library.